I feel like there's a very real chance that by the end of this challenge, I'm just gonna have lost all my followers. Hey guys, I'm Brett, and like basically every other millennial out there, I'm addicted to my Instagram. I obsess over filters and a witty caption and shadows and highlights and contrasts, it's a lot. So this week, I'm gonna challenge my friend Jasmine to be 100% honest on Instagram. Here's what that's gonna look like. One, we have to post once a day. Two, we have to only use the preset filters in the app. Three, the caption has to be 100% in the moment. Four, these posts have to be done in three minutes or less. Three minutes is not a long time. This is gonna be really, really tough, and I'm gonna hate this by the end. If she's up for it, we'll give it a go. Eek. This is probably gonna suck. I have three minutes to edit my photo only on Instagram, to pick out a caption that is true to what I'm feeling, all in three minutes. So I think day one's gonna be okay. I'm about to take a boot camp class with Peter from The Bachelor, so that's a high point in life. Sharing it, I'm sharing it. Class just got out, I got to meet him, but I got sick in the bathroom right before I met him. And that is something I would completely keep to myself normally. Maybe I'll try being honest and mention it. I don't think this is too hard. Maybe because I picked a pretty tame caption. But I feel like this weekend I'm gonna be a hoe. So that might be a different type of caption outcome, but we'll see. Just posted for day two and that's getting less likes than some of my other posts. And I lost a follower, which kind of hurts. I guess that's to be expected from that trash Instagram. Me on social media is the exact me you will get in real life. I'm not trying to catfish any of y'all. Like, I'm just a thick, thotty bitch. That's my aesthetic here. So I had the bright idea to take a picture outside and Sissy took a thousand for me and I'm freaking out over which ones. I think posting a selfie for this challenge is gonna be harder though. By far the thing I miss the most about this week is Visco Cam. There's certain little tiny fixes that go a long way and I mix them a lot. It's live yeah, guys! Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, 69. Woo. If anything, maybe out of this experiment, maybe I'll just feel a little bit more comfortable posting some regular selfies throughout the week. I haven't been feeling like the best about myself lately. So I wrote that in the caption. It was weird. Within like 30 minutes, I had 80 comments of people just like uplifting me and giving me compliments. You always look so confident all the time, so it's nice to see this side of you. The more real you are in your captions, the more people like actually want to see that. I tried something a little different with this post. I was like a little bit more personal and open on Instagram about something that I would usually never post about. I like went to therapy for the first time in a normal context outside of this challenge. I never would have felt totally comfortable sharing that. I got some really good feedback immediately and it was kind of nice just letting that out there too. It kind of made me realize that I wasn't alone in that sense. It was a nice outcome on a picture Picture that I wasn't really thrilled for. It like meant so much more to me that so many people were just like, no, like you're an awesome person and you need to realize that. Sometimes the internet doesn't suck. Just snapped a quick selfie at the dentist's office because I just wanted my post to be done for the day. Although it's super unflattering and I still can't talk because my mouth is numb, my post is done. The stress is over with for the day and then back to my regular Instagram habits. Thank God. Earlier today, <laughs> I posted um, a picture like a laughing on the sidewalk with some crazy ass makeup. And I was shocked to see that so many people were so supportive. There were people that were like, yes, thank you for being the voice of the curves. <laughs> I don't know, I'm happy with it. And I don't think I'll delete it later. We are finally done with the challenge. While there were plenty parts of that that I, I didn't really like at all, it wasn't all bad and I think there's like some highlights from it. I think my favorite post that I did was when I posted about therapy for the first time. I think for me, Instagram is this thing where it's usually like picture perfect. It was nice to change that and be a little bit more honest. I think the hardest part about this social media challenge was the fact that I had to post every day. Feeling good five days in a row to post a picture 
for a lot of people to see was a lot. It's really great because every post that I put up, being completely honest in, I got so many nice comments that were like, you go girl, or yes, you've inspired me to do this, or yes, you've inspired me to love myself. And I'm just like, I wanna keep doing that for people. If I take anything from this, it'll be that every once in a while, maybe it doesn't hurt to be honest on Instagram. I've never felt so loved <laughs> from my Instagram in the past week. I don't know, I think I'm gonna keep all this up. This was a great challenge. Thanks for the experience!